pardon my desktop it always looks like this but this is just a quick tip so it doesn't really matter if you use uh, disk images when you're using Final Cut Pro 10 this little tip might help you organize things you can use the finder and the search when you create the disk images according to the instructions you find on Ken Stone's site uh, you can do a search here for sparse image file name contains sparse image and you can just get a listing of all of the disk images that you have created for your Final Cut projects and then you can save this search I've already saved the search as disk images and just keep it in save searches and add to the sidebar so when you get ready to start a project and you need to launch your images you can just open up any finder window and click on disk images and double click on each one of these and you've mounted them on the desktop like that it's not necessary to start Final Cut Pro after you do this you can do that after you've started Final Cut Pro but it's a quick tip on how to keep your disk images quickly accessible thanks for watching catch you on the next one